pretty rocky week. I, uh, after I finished getting sick, I uh, was just really unproductive for like a week and a half. <clears throat> and even even today, I'm not like feeling all there. It's gonna muddle through today. Friday's gonna be slow. So they're doing the thing now where they have um, exhibitor uh, exhibitor bag bag checks now. So for the past couple weeks, I've been really really unproductive. I've been feeling really sick. Um, just really drained. After SnafuCon a couple weeks ago, I picked up bronchitis. Um, you guys heard me in the anime bonsai vlog. I was just a mess that whole weekend. And ever since then, I've just been, like, just been off. Like, I haven't been streaming. Um, I've been doing a lot of sketching. I've been forcing myself to draw, like, new projects. But it's just, like, it's not there with me like it used to be. Um, and maybe I just need, like, a little reset this weekend. Um, I am working LA Comic Con this weekend, but I am also going to uh, Escape, which is a music festival. I'm spending the weekend there with my friends after the convention, um, assuming I can get there in time because LA traffic is crazy. But just been feeling really down lately. Not like depressed, just like tired. Um, yeah, I do have an exhibitor spot this year. Last year I had an artist alley spot, I got in last minute. And um, it was fun, uh, and I did well enough to warrant coming back, clearly, because I went ahead and picked up an, uh, an, uh, an exhibitor spot. The thing is, uh, these exhibitor spots were $900 during signups, but what they did, and my friend has the email to this, is they emailed people like, oh, we need to fill in spots. So I don't know if they dropped people or if they, they had trouble filling space, but they were offering those for $800 instead of $900. And I fucking hate when shows do that. It's like, it's like punishing people for being like on time because I paid on time I got my table early and I paid more than someone you know <coughs> when a convention has to reach out to get people to fill in space that's a bad sign so I'm already kind of in a, a bad space mentally with this show like yeah that's why you don't drop your prices like on Sunday at the end of the show a lot of people in the artist alley will drop their prices like five or ten bucks like that's such a slap in the face to people who came to check out your work ahead of time and signing up for conventions is the same thing if you're running a convention and then you drop your prices just so you can try and fill spots that's your fucking problem like that's your deal but i mean that's such fucking bullshit and just a thought knowing that there's people out here who have the 10 by 10 exhibitor spot and paid less than i did kind of fucking irritates me so i'm gonna finish setting up and then i'll, I'll see you guys Let's go. Yeah, those are all my uh, original characters and concepts. Yeah, that is up to date with Sun and Moon. And uh, on the back side of that, if you go to that YouTube channel or you just snap that, you can watch me draw it. I already follow you on Oh, yeah? yeah. Uh, I actually mom, watched you do this. Yeah? The live stream of it? Yeah. Damn. I just, what a I nightmare. Just grabbed, I just grabbed some food and just like... <laughs> like, this guy. <laughs> Did you guys see this last year? Huh? Did you see this last year? Oh. Uh, so you saw this one last year, but then after Sun yeah. and Moon, yeah, oh, after yeah. Sun and Moon came out, I didn't want to just add to this because I felt it'd be lazy because so many people had bought it. So I've redrawn the entire thing. Yeah. So if you have this one, it's you're good because this one's not uh, not available anymore. Yeah. Marshadow up there and everything. Oh, Adam. Yeah, I completely redid the whole thing. There's nothing left over from the old one. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm doing well. I can't figure out, but uh, where is there a place where I can get something for like under twenty dollars in this area? Um, it's it's gonna be most likely, most likely, it's gonna be over there. Who don't the people who don't have the big black backdrops? Yeah, it's all the artist alley. Shirts, I don't know if you'll find them under 20, yeah. I, I haven't really looked around, but it's I haven't seen a lot of places. I don't know, I haven't looked around since people set up, yeah. Good luck, man, and good luck. Nice. What's up, man? Slow as fuck today. 
It's alright, yeah. It's okay. I'll be fine, but today was just real slow. Yeah. Look at this guy. What I do? I didn't do it. What me? Uh I'll go this way. So this is at the LA Convention Center, same place they have Anime Expo. I really like this convention center. Sentimental value. <sighs> Shit. But no, uh, foot traffic was really, really bad. Purchases were really bad. Fridays in general are usually slow. So to have a slow Friday relative to what Friday should be really hurts. And then I have Tucson next weekend, uh, Tucson Comic Con. And I do not have a lot of faith in that show. I don't know why I signed up for it, but I did. So I will have to make the most out of that when that comes around. Oh no, so you're familiar with Photoshop? Yeah. Yeah, uh, everything, all the line work is one layer. Well, for all of these, the line work is one layer. I do that to keep everything like more consistent. Yeah, um, this one clocked about 145 working hours. This was about 212. This was about 505 hours. It does not have Doomfist, so it goes to Orisa. Um, I actually, I, I finished this around the time E3 was going on, and I was like, well, if they're going to do drop Doomfist, they're going to do it then. They didn't do that, so I sent this off to production to get printed. Three days later, Doomfist. like, Doomfist, yep. Yeah. Okay. Out so of nowhere. Yeah, and, you know, it's just part of the nature of these games. Specifically these three games, you know. So are these, like, just scale? Like yeah. I, I based it on, a, like, in lore size. And... And I based all of them on a Pokedex size, so they're all drawn to scale. Pokedex size, yeah, that's why I like well ordered that big. So as you saw earlier, it definitely has picked up quite a bit uh, for day two, but still considerably slower than like you would expect a show like this to be, especially with the foot traffic. But it is one of those shows where um, they have a lot of big name people, so people pay to get into the convention and then they pay to get an autograph or they pay to go take a picture with the, the celebrities. By the time they're done, there's nothing left for the little guys. So you want to be really careful with shows like this that have really big guests. You're going to think it's going to bring a lot of people in, but it's bringing them in to see the guests and they're not going to have a lot of money left over because a lot of these guests, it's like 70 bucks to take a picture with them. Well. Hey, what up, Chris? I follow you on YouTube, man. Yeah? yeah. Oh, thank you. What's your name? Here, uh, one. Juan? Yeah. Well, I go by Ferris on Jugs. Oh, shit. Yeah. I didn't know it was you. Yeah. What's going on, man? On your, uh, on your verses, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, awesome. you drop into the streams every now and then, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The streams, yeah, yeah. Damn, what's going on? I'm good, man. I can't wait for the, uh, the Dragon Ball one, though. Yeah, it's just... One. Man, the, uh, going through all the episodes is such a pain in the ass. Yeah. And then I have all these other projects, so it just keeps getting pushed back. Because it's not a priority. I have like commission work that I gotta get done, so that Dragon Ball piece is like, if everything else gets caught up, then we do it. How's it going? Oh, that actually takes you to a YouTube video. Yeah, so all of these have their own individual uh, speed paint videos, and that's what those links will take you to. Yeah, this goes to a Zaya, Rakan, and the rework Galio. This is amazing. I actually have this print. Yeah? I framed it in my room. Where would you pick up? Pick it up. Where would you pick it up at? Anime Expo. Anime Expo. Yeah, also probably in my Witch Mercy cosplay. <laughs> but it's, it's beautiful. I love Thank it. Thank you. I definitely. Oh, I appreciate you. Yeah, that that uh, this most recent AX was like my best uh, show ever. So I appreciate that. I'm not gonna lie. I enjoy traditional 
way more. Like I have a Cintiq and I've done so much digital work and it's just like, I'd much rather sit down with a, a brush pen and a, and a piece of paper, honestly. Yeah. Like now, if you think it's like digital, oh, I mean for uh, in regards to work, like if you're gonna go get a job or something. Oh yeah, you need to know that. yeah, that's are for sure. Just trying, are you just trying to do freelance and like Yeah, for right now, I just I, I like my freedom. Uh, if the opportunity came up, I uh, for like an industry job, I'd do it just for the experience. Uh, from start to finish, about 500 hours. That's uh, 500 work hours. I had, I think, if you count all the breaks that I took, it was like it had to be close to 600, live because I live streamed the whole thing. Yeah, so it's probably close to 600 live hours. Yeah. Because I was like, well, it, if I'm going to do a big project like this anyway, I may as well get extra value out of it by live streaming it. That way, my my thought process was, um, well, that way if people you could you could always sell the print at a convention but if you sell it and then you also offer them something beyond that you're like here you can watch it too so they feel like they're getting more value for their dollar so yeah, yeah, yeah. medium and the large will come packaged like this um, if you get for the uh, the medium and the large if you get any two I take 10 off not with the standards though but with the medium Medium? Yeah. Did they give you the okay on it? Sweet. So I have it pre-signed for you at the bottom. I have it signed for you at the bottom already. I actually, I did, I had these mixed up. So here, let me give you $5 back because that's supposed to be 45 Yeah, let me get you your 5 bucks back. I knew something was wrong. That's why I came out here. That's a, Yeah, it's somebody mixed them all up. Who did that? Okay, hold on. Let me get your five bucks back. So there's not much else for me to say about this convention other than like the whole thing I said about the celebrities. They use that to pull people in and then ultimately they're the ones that get all the attention and ultimately all the money. Um, word of mouth uh, from the other artists who are in the artist alley that though traffic was heavier in the artist alley than in the vendor area a lot of them did pretty bad too all my friends didn't do well at this show and um i don't know if it's because it's like halloween time um shows are always slower post summer but i i don't think i've ever done this bad i haven't done this poorly at a show in a long time so it really sucks that it kind of broke my my winning streak but um it had to end eventually so i will not be coming back to this show i'm not going to say it was poorly run because everything went as you know you would expect other than the sales um yeah there's really nothing else to say about it if you guys have any questions about this show or conventions in general maybe i could help you out so go ahead and leave those down below uh, if you like this be sure to subscribe and I will talk to you guys next time bye